hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog <laughs> what is this what is this <laughs> it's just the excitement let me close this door okay hi my name is sharon uh we do lifestyle vlogs if you're new here hi welcome i hope you're going to like this vlog i hope you're going to like the feel of the kind of videos we enjoy on this channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to spend the day with me so i'm starting off this vlog because i look like this first of all because i was shooting some dresses i'm gonna put a reel here so that you can just get the idea of what i was trying to do and then um i'm going to be doing a day in my life i don't even know what this day is going to look like or it's going to be a couple of days but anyway let's see how the rest of the day is going to go and i hope you guys are going to enjoy this vlog just make sure that's just make sure that you're subscribed just check on the red button below because cannot not subscribe but then you're going to subscribe cannot subscribe and then you're going to subscribe who has been watching my videos and he recently discovered that he was not subscribed i'm not going to call you by name <laughs> but basically guys make sure that you're subscribed make sure that you're subscribed because we're trying we're trying to get to 5k before the year ends and i think it's looking bright i don't know what you guys think but anyway let's get into this <laughs> I feel like this vlog is getting very <laughs> i can't say chaotic because it just started but yesterday i just um didn't continue with this vlog and today is another day in the vlog i'm rushing to town i was supposed to meet my mom at 10 30. now it's 10 o'clock i'm getting ready to leave she calls me she says she has arrived so now i need to quickly rush into town so that i don't keep her waiting for too long and then i think okay what i what i need to do in town today is get ezra's potty he's way overdue for his potty training so i need to get his potty and then buy greens if i can uh go to copacabana if i can and then just help my mom with her errands and then come back so yeah let's okay. go for today's outfit I am wearing a thrifted jersey. Guys, I wore this jersey when we were in job back, right? And it was not properly ironed. Did my mother not call me out? <laughs> she asked me why I did not iron this jersey because she watched that vlog. But anyway, I think I did good today. I ironed it. I tried to iron it properly. And then, um, Kati, I'm wearing a white shirt. It's a shirt from Mr. Price. Belt Mr. Price, big Mr. Price. And then, slicks are from Foshini and converse shoes i bought them via bash i'm not sure which shop anyway i'm gonna rush i can't find a single pair of earrings because some people in the house figured toys were not fun instead my earrings were fun but anyway uh let me rush to town i also have a delivery that i need to make before 12 30 so let's go <coughs> just coming up the stairs i'm about to do it another day sorry which is my last delivery of the day i got distracted i was saying i just did my i'm doing my last delivery of the day today and then <clears throat> I'm gonna wait for Max to come pick me up because I bought a bunch of things and it's just a point that I can't really carry them. So now I'm gonna wait for him after this delivery and then we're gonna try and buy some greens. Where are we going to go to Esk Bank? Pick up Riley from school, go to Esk Bank and then go. Got me obsessed, got me obsessed, got me obsessed. 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 Got me obsessed, got me
for a couple shots with the hitty in my cup And a couple moments later we'll be building up a twine Something that's divine, had to give it time but I'm patient I just wanna see on your spaceship Plus you done the earth and you never on some face Flitting half the bill, had the women didn't pay shit Basic, we should take a time but you pace it And you wonder one, God ain't no copy patient Felt too many times, this is different, we can make it Love dripping good off of you, let me taste it I just got to the farmer's market. I went to Park Street to buy greens, but I didn't find some of the things, so that's my friend. And the green, green at the top. So I just got back from my errands today. So <laughs> when was the last time I spoke to you guys? I think I last spoke to you guys actually at Esk Bank. Let me tell you the day I've had. I woke up, met up with my mom, shopped uh, for a few things to so cook up a because she was looking for her winter coats, for her winter coats as well as for her sisters. So that's what we were doing. Mm, she found some really nice coats, guys. So <clears throat> in Copacabana, if you want like nice winter coats, um, and then get hanger are all sorted out and ready. They go for ten dollars. So those are the ones that she was looking for. Also because hair and her sisters, they are big girls, especially on the hips. So they really need like wide um, winter coats, specifically on the hips. I hope that makes sense. So we got her winter coats, and then we went to look for Ezra's Porty which I found, I think I showed you a clip of that. I found it going for $2.50. Yeah, I think it was fair. <laughs> I was, you know, I budgeted for a little bit more, but it was fine. Cause I don't know if he's going to like it, just in case he doesn't like it. It also leaves, leaves room for us to look for something completely different. When it comes to potty training, I feel like I want it to be as seamless and just straight to the point as possible. So I don't want to buy something that's going to give him an idea I could it's time to play or i can play when i'm sitting on this thing my guy you should sit on the pot get your business done and then we move so i bought a very plain simple pot but if that doesn't work we'll always try um something else right and then when we were done with my mom i had a quick delivery that i went to i think i spoke to you guys when i was there and then from there my friend sue is not feeling well so i went to see her right and then when i saw her i realized she also wanted to go and see her sister so while she was seeing her sister i went to finish up well i went to i was looking for a few things at the chinese stop shop I saw some nice things but i didn't buy i was like let me think about it and then if i really want these things i can always buy them when i come back it was just kids clothes it had nothing to do with me and then i went across the street to buy some greens so today i actually wanted to vlog us in park street but guys cancel the way i had to buy the greens was just something else so let's do a whole for the things that i bought from park street i was just parked by the road um he was selling i think he was delivering letters to someone and then i just saw him it was looking so fresh and let me put this thing here it was looking so fresh i was like can you please sell me that letters <laughs> I'm bored, I'm bad, I'm bad. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going. I want the lettuce. I really wanted the lettuce. I could have bought the lettuce at Esk Bank, but I wasn't sure if today was the day I was going to go to Esk Bank. But anyway, um, I got two heads of lettuce from the guy. And then from Park Street, I got um, some cauliflower. Guys, we are on our, in our, well, let me say Max. I'm just joining him here and there healthy eating era that's what max is doing these days so i'm just you know eating with him whenever i can and then this is the other head of lettuce and then from where i got the from where i bought the what you call it the potty the potty was going for two dollars fifty they didn't have change so i got a dust pan i needed a dust pan anyway this is the color of the potty. I'm not going to show you the potty. It makes no sense for me to do that. And then, what else is in here? These are just some dresses that I bought. There's no need. And then, oh, 
my mom picked some popcorn i guess this is for the kids and then she also got them some bananas very ripe bananas and then from park street i also bought these tomatoes for a dollar and then what else did i get from park street uh, i got a, an english cucumber for salad and snaking and then i got two heads of these uh broccoli and then got some carrot broccoli was going for a dollar that size and then this was going for a dollar and then what else is in here some green beans so that's what i got from the town i'm trying to see if okay there's another plastic here. more tomatoes and onions because we were running out of onions you know what being a being a mom or just being i think just running a household of any kind it means you have to shop for greens once weekly or once in two weeks because things tend tend to run out or sometimes they turn bad so these holes we're going to be doing them very well i hope they're not too much for you guys but this is my life and the whole idea of this vlog is that i show you guys my day to day and this was it and then my mom sells eggs so a crate like this is for two four dollars fifty so i also got a crate you guys know routine but anyway she said she's going to bring more eggs next week so um, that's okay and then when i realized that i couldn't buy all of the things that i wanted remember park street it's illegal vendors but we like to buy them because usually their produce is fresh some of them are not but some of them actually bring the items from their gardens i know there are ladies who come from dombo shaba Balima garden and then they you know plant those things and then when they're ready they come to town to sell them like especially the lettuce your lettuce broccoli um cauliflower and Sometimes onions, sometimes even tomatoes, you always find fresh ones. Especially if you go up Park Lane and Nelson Mandela, up that road, you're going to find really nice produce. So that's why I like to go there sometimes. And looking at it now, the prices are not that different with Esk Bank. Maybe if we were talking about Bari, maybe the prices would be different. Because I want to say in Park Street, I used about $8 on, 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 on all the greens that I just showed you guys. And then... I tried to buy paper from this lady. She was very rude. I asked her to give me back my dollar and I went. So because of that lady, I had to go to Esk Bank, but she was very impolite. And it was just like, you know what? I'm trying to buy from you. And there were not so many vendors today because of the operation that's going on. So I was like, you know what? I will go to Esk Bank rather than giving money to someone who's going to be mean to me. So that's why we had to go to Esk Bank. So from town we picked up Riley and then we went to this bank. Got some cherry tomatoes, salads, got some lemons. These are not the best fresh looking lemons if you ask me. But it's fine, it's winter time. I know by the time we get to next week, I am to because like I said in the previous vlog, I drink lemon water every morning. I like to drink lemon tea and sometimes I cook with lemon. So these will come in handy. This were going for a dollar. The cherry tomatoes were going for dollar fifty. I got some lays, but I think I had to shun one off that. And then I also got some grapes for the kids. These grapes are really nice. Blueberries as usual. Uh, some strawberries as usual. <laughs> and then the paper that I had initially gone to Esk Bank for also got this paper. Uh, strawberries were two dollars. Blueberries dollar fifty grapes two dollars fifty yeah and then also got some yellow paper just for color when i'm doing my stir fries because stir fries is one thing i can cook properly <laughs> my husband because he made such a joke out of me buying myself flowers in the other world he got me this bouquet of flowers the way home i remembered that we don't have potatoes so i got a pocket of small pockets of potatoes which is going for five dollars this floor is actually a mess <laughs> but anyway i also got some bananas because we always have bananas in this house like i always tell you guys but yeah so this is everything that we got i want to say at esk bank we spent about 20 bucks well including the flowers so at esk bank we spent about 20 bucks 
in park lane we spent about eight dollars making it 28 and then potatoes for five dollars along the road when we we're coming here all right i think we spent about 35 40 dollars this is just a rough estimate 35 to 40 dollars on greens and just fruits for the next week or two so that was the whole i hope you guys enjoyed this part now i want to show you the perfumes that i got before i sit down and then i'm gonna come back and assemble those flowers into a fuss so yeah let's go and see the perfume few moments later we were in town i went to the shop i think it's an indian shop so they have a section that they sell baby goods like diapers uh your wipes all things baby and then they have another section i think that sells I want to say toiletries for like adults so your lotions your soaps your whatnot, whatnot but it's usually brands that are not from from here in zimbabwe it's usually important item imported items that are, they sell throughout that entire shop so my husband went there the other day he bought this really nice perfume me being me i said where did you leave me <laughs> um and then we went together today today was like we can go because we had a little bit of time before going to rally school so today i got flowers and perfumes <laughs> so sweet anyway he bought me these two perfumes so these are not my first uh, arabic perfumes if you've been here long enough you know that he also got me this yara if you don't know yara perfume um it's by latafa and it's it, it, i don't know how to explain notes right but what i'll do is i'll screenshot um the notes for this fragrance onto the screen so that you can just have an idea of what it smells like it's a very sweet fragrance um that's all i can explain as further as i can explain it and it's it's soft perfume are very like you know sharp like you know pin them in i'm not that kind of a girl i want something that's very it lasts but it's not too strong i hope that makes sense so this one is also almost running out, so that's why I think I'm done. That's the Hindu school. So you got me first one. I know this is a a dupe of some it should be by YSL if I'm not mistaken. And this one also smelled really nice. I liked it. So what they do is run over to my paper and then you spray, you smell it, and then if you like it, usually I think it makes sense when you're buying a fragrance. Could you go there? Or spray rock or perfume or onto uh, like those little papers go home overnight tomorrow morning smell it again and then i think that's how you'll be able to tell if you like it or not because sometimes the smells they get overwhelming to think i went through over eight fragrances and i ended up having to settle for those two so if i had the time i would have gone there maybe tomorrow but ah uh, mm -mm. oh by the way the shop iri charge your face Harare people please listen i don't want you to come into the comment section and ask me where the shop is this is the part where you must listen screen record if you must record so the shop is on um ines terrace and drops on manika facing um central police station that's where you're going to find this and i tried to film it i'm going to put a cutaway as well so that you can see the sign of the store for those that don't know i know that that's not their only branch when my branch could downtown if i'm not mistaken downtown is in the side but i'm not sure i just saw on tiktok so you can just go check them out if that's something you want also for people who are always like why don't you buy the original fragrances why can't you buy just buy og and then you're done and then you say guys i'm gonna buy them i just don't have the money yet so for now we will do these ones and then we'll do like you know good proper original fragrances when i have the resources and funds for it i'm like that when it comes to sneakers i'll be preaching to people buy the original buy the original perfumes i feel like i need to do better but anyway usually when i see people doing reviews and they explain the scent i'll take a screenshot and then when i go into a store like this one Doty, can i smell it and see if i i like it so that's what i did i knew what this bottle looked like so uh when i went into the and then they also sprayed it onto the paper i was like i'm not sure put it per side and then we went on to this one and it is so both the perfumes we sprayed onto the little papers waited for a while and then i ended up going onto the papers i didn't look at those perfumes i went onto the papers that we had sprayed and i picked two scents that i liked and it was these two scents right 
uh i'll let you know i'll let you know how i feel as time goes on in terms of like do i recommend or do i not recommend but this one definitely they do have it as well i want to say it's going for 12 dollars i could be mistaken but they do have it as well in that shop and this is a really nice perfume now the other time when i went into town last week there were guys who were walking behind me and i was wearing this orange shit this one guy was like but orange shit but orange shit but orange shit but orange shit now i have to keep a straight face and then but i was not easy to have a to me so close and then they were like yeah i'm gonna get a sister they were nice and we actually had a proper conversation yes hi riley what do you want so what do you want so no wait i'll come and give you wait anyway guys um so these are the two perfumes that i got this one i don't know if i mentioned the prices this one was going for 12 this one was going for 10. so we will know if it was worth it or not i'm not going to say go buy go buy i don't know guys make your own decision but i'll be back with the review maybe in a few days what i'm going to do right now is go into the kitchen and pick all those things that we were i was showing you guys earlier and then eat my lunch because i have not well i had cereal in the morning but now it's a two two three and i need to have something to eat so i'm gonna eat as well and then start working on supper right I think I'm gonna make potato wedges, beef stew, and a green salad. That's what we're gonna make. So for now, I don't think I will be speaking to you guys uh, in this vlog. So let me sign off this vlog here. Uh, if you enjoyed it and if you watched it up until this point, which emoji should we put? Put you not know that that emoji, that dancing emoji. If you are a guy or if you are a girl i know the guy the lady will be wearing a red dress you can put that red emoji i don't know what the guy will be wearing blue pants or something leave that emoji in the comment section just to let me know that i watched up until this point i love you guys so much for watching i'll probably pick up this vlog but just not um having a conversation with you it will just be me doing whatever that i'm doing otherwise yes make sure that you're subscribed Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you can please do share this video so that we can reach a wider audience we might find new people that also like to chill with us and just you know check out our content so for now i'll leave you here i'll see you in my next video